Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of On The Road. Today I want to talk to you about uh, distributing gospel tracts. You know, many times when I'm out on the streets with uh, new folks, or I'm uh, visiting a church and and uh, taking some of their people out, or if I'm at a, a larger scale event where, where there are a lot of Christians uh, distributing tracts, open air preaching, that sort of thing. One of the things I notice, and one of the things that really bugs me, is that many Christians, when they're out on the streets distributing gospel tracts, they look like Jehovah's Witnesses. They look like Jehovah's Witnesses who are out there handing out their material with no love for God, no love for people, just trying to do their thing to earn their way into the kingdom. Now, I'm not suggesting that that's what Christians are doing. But that's the look on their face. That's their countenance. That's their demeanor. Uh, distributing gospel tracts, which is proclaiming the gospel, should be a joy. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. It should not be some kind of drudgery or, or obligatory task that has to be filled but that you don't really want to do. Uh, people are less likely to take something from your hand, a stranger, if you have some forlorn look on your face and you don't look like you really care about what it is that you're trying to put into people's hands. Smile! For crying out loud! Smile! You know, and, and, and don't ask people, do you want one of these? <laughs> Expecting rejection. If you ask that kind of question, do you want one of these or would you like one? Uh, most people are going to say no. Uh, I don't even, I used to ask, and it's good to ask, did you get one of these? That's, that's something that Ray Comfort teaches. And I think that's a really good idea because it, it fosters um, curiosity in the mind of the person. Did I get one of what? Uh, and you're not asking them a, a yes, no question in a sense that, um, you know, they could just automatically refuse. Now, sometimes people do, but asking someone, did you get one of these, uh, really, again, sparks a curiosity in a person that will uh, oftentimes make them want to take one just to see what it is. So I, I think that's good. Uh, but I don't even do that anymore. When I'm handing out gospel tracts, I simply smile at the person, not not a, a hard plastic smile that looks like it's forced and painful, but but I try to be as, as chipper, as cheery as I possibly can, and, and yes, there's actually a good cop in me for crying out loud, yes, I can smile and be happy. But I simply look at people and say, hey, have a great day. God bless you, have a great day. That's what I do, and I and and it seems that um, even in places that are really hard to hand out tracks, places like Hollywood Boulevard and uh, Bruin Walk on UCLA, where there are dozens of different groups, uh, uh, campus groups and non-campus groups, handing out material of all kinds, where it's really tough to uh, to sometimes distribute tracks. Uh, I've watched. I, I've watched uh, students start at the bottom of the hill, walk through what we call the gauntlet as they walk up Bruin Walk and there are people on both sides uh, of the walk trying to get something into their hands. And and the looks on these kids' faces are like, oh, I just want to get up the hill. I got a test. I, I don't want to I don't want to take anything. And I'm standing up towards the top of the hill and as they come towards me, I say, hey, I hope you have a great day today. I hope classes go well for you today as I'm, as I'm handing out a track, as I'm extending a track to them. And they smile and they say thank you and they take the tract. Why? Because I was nice to them. <laughs> because I wished them a good day. Because I, I, I showed a, a, a moment of, of kindness to them that, uh, that they might not otherwise receive. And so distributing gospel tracts really is that easy. You don't have to make it a complicated thing. You don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to feel like you're doing some kind of bait and switch, you know, where you're trying to trying to uh, fool someone into taking taking something when they, they don't know what it is. Uh, oh, and another thing. If someone asks you, well, what is this? 
Uh, Mark Spence often often jokes. Uh, it's for you. <laughs> Uh, if someone asks you what uh, what it is that you're handing them, be honest, be upfront. It's a gospel tract. It's a gospel tract. Uh, and, and a lot of times people will say, well, what's a gospel tract? Well, it's a message about Jesus Christ. I hope it encourages you. You know, and, and you continue to, to, to have that, that upbeat tone. You don't look fearful. You don't uh, try not to look intimidating. And, and be kind, be kind with your words, be gentle with your words. Make, make the person want to take it from you, not, by, uh, not out of some sense of compulsion, uh, but because you were so nice to them that they almost feel obligated. I mean, really, if, if you walk up to someone and say, hey, have a great day, and, and you hand them something, more often than not, they're going to take it simply because they don't want to seem rude uh, for not acknowledging that kind gesture of saying, hey, have a good day. So enjoy handing out gospel tracts. Enjoy distributing them in mass. Gospel tracts is such an excellent way to get the law and the gospel out to people. Gospel tracts can go places that you won't be able to go. You know, whenever I, I hand someone a tract and I see it stuffed, see them stuff it in their pocket or stick it in their wallet, I immediately start praying, Lord, when they get around to reaching into that pocket, may they pull that tract out, read it, and come to repentance and faith in Christ. All right. So if you're going to hand out gospel tracts, put a smile on your face, be happy, enjoy it, let the joy of the Lord be your strength, and get the gospel out to as many people as you can. All right, God bless. Have a great day.